Hi, Kevin from Derby Training Systems here. We're going to be doing some more rolling progressions today. Again, using our uh, DTS roller. This has been made for us by the folks at Travel Roller. It's uh, fantastic. It's got ABS pipe in it. So what that means is it'll always maintain its, its shape and consistency. We sell these for the lowest price on the internet. You can visit us at Derby Training Systems and click on store. So the first thing we're going to be targeting is a lower leg. A lot of people lack um, range of motion at the lower leg, specifically in dorsiflexion of the ankle. And that can uh, be problematic for many of the resistance training exercises that we do loaded with a, a barbell. So I'm going to place a roller uh, about midway on the lower leg and I'm just going to start by rolling back and forth. I'm going to externally rotate my leg, target more of the lateral fibers. I can target more of the medial fibers by internally rotating my leg. If I want to increase the intensity, I simply place the other leg on top. As with any type of rolling progression, when I get to a point where I feel there's an opportunity, eight to 10 small movements, and if you can add in movement at the same time, it's always better. So eight to 10 small movements, and as you can see here, I'm adding in a little plantar flexion and dorsiflexion of my ankle. Now I can adjust and target uh, the lower, more the lower part of the leg that will get into more uh, soleus and tib posterior. Again, same idea. I can adjust the leg targeting more the lateral portion and turn into more the medial portion. If I find there's an opportunity, I can add some more weight. And where there's an opportunity there, I can add in the movement of the ankle as I do eight to 10 small motions in that area. You also have the option of using a lacrosse ball. Again, the lacrosse ball is a, a harder, more targeted surface, so it'll be more specific to a certain area. You can follow that, those same protocols we just saw. Obviously, the clearance isn't as high with the lacrosse ball, so it's a little more difficult in terms of uh, getting some movement. The one opportunity you do have with the lacrosse ball is you can target, you can really target that tib anterior um, and you can get more into this lateral compartment of the lower leg, trying to get in between as much as you can between tib and fib, the interosseous membrane that's in that area. Again, as you're Exploring these possibilities, you can do it with ankle dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. All right, as you can see, I've got some opportunities in that lower leg, as many of us do. Remember, you have to be mobile to move.